Hey everyone, welcome to a short layout update to show you what's been done over the summer and as we wrap things up for the year, and welcome to Model Railroading Made Simple. Twenty twenty has been a crazy year, but I've still managed to get some new sections completed. Plans to expand the layout structure didn't happen this year, but it should be possible to complete the unfinished existing decks by year's end. In fact, there's only one section on the east side of Stampede Pass to go. Quite a bit of time and energy was spent switching to the Atlas signal system and getting ABS signaling functioning across most of the inside gateway section this year. The Stampede Pass section will also be upgraded to the Atlas system, possibly by the end of the year too. So here we are at the current end of the layout. We talked about the lower decks in previous videos including the Sparks Yard and Virginia and Truckee route to Carson City on the third deck. This summer, work was finished on the fourth deck of this part of the layout, which models Redmond, Oregon through Culver. Starting here in Redmond, something folks from this part of the country should recognize is the Fred Meyer Mini Mart. This is a modified Walther's kit I made an interior for. Next up is DeLuna's Construction Materials, the first of three industries available for switching in Redmond. Just past that is Smith Brothers Feed Mill as well as a glacier gravel spur. As we come to the end of the aisle, there's quite a bit of horse and cattle ranching in this part of Oregon that I wanted to model, and just above it is the temporary reverse loop for Stampede Pass. While not part of the main, I decided to add scenery to it anyway, match what will become the east side of the pass, just to the right of this scene. The fourth deck then passes through some cattle ranches, while continuing this stretch of single track main line. The major scene here is the Crooked River Gorge crossing at the Peter Skeen State Park. This is where we actually watched the eclipse in 2018 and is a great place to rail fan. The gorge is two decks deep here, and we've even got the bungee jumpers that use the old highway bridge, except for today when they're living really dangerously using the railroad bridge. An informational display relates some of the history of the first bridge across the gorge by the Great Northern Railroad. North of the gorge, the scenery gives way to farmland as we enter the town of Culver. Round Butte Seed is a real industry in Culver, and who could pass up modeling that? The fifth deck of this section contains the Stampede Pass lines that runs all the way into Seattle. It comes out Stampede Pass in a snow-capped scene. Work has begun on this part of the layout with the east end of the tunnel portal of Stampede Pass. Cardboard landforms are being covered with brown paper to prepare for plaster cloth here at Cabin Creek. You can see our scenery tutorial on how this is completed in an earlier video. I'm waiting on a switch to install at CP Cabin Creek where the long single track main line gets a siding going into the eastern Cascade town of Cleelum. That's the extent of new progress for now. The rest of the fall will be spent getting ready for the holidays in case we can do a show and possibly installing the Atlas signals on Stampede Pass. Until next time, keep it on the rails!